I would imagine that cyber bullying is a relatively new thing. Uh, certainly wasn't around when I was a kid. Uh, cyber bullying is a mixture of things, to, to my knowledge. It's uh, people being bullied via text messages, emails, uh, Facebook, <coughs> through technology, I suppose, really, rather than face to face bullying. A lot of students are affected by it, and it's something that we wish we could have more control over, but unfortunately, we don't because as soon as anything is posted on the internet or is out there on the World Wide Web, that we have no control over. I do know of a child that was bullied um, via the internet, and I would say their life was made really impossible. I've, I've experienced bullying at, in secondary school. Uh, but they were, in, they were in the days where basically you went, um, you didn't really have a great deal of support. And my way of dealing with bullying was to, was, was to, to literally fight back, uh, which is not probably the best way to, to, to do it. You're better speaking to somebody. Uh, my, mine was not the best way to do it. But that was at a time when you didn't have, I think, the same sort of support mechanisms that you do in the school now. I do remember some of my friends who got bullied, they got called names, and obviously it's very, very upsetting for them. At the time, did I really do anything to help them? Probably not, because I wasn't aware of what to do then, and you are talking many years ago here. Now, if that happens to a friend of mine, I'm far more informed, and I would stand up for them, and I would tell appropriate people, because it's a horrible, horrible feeling and I wouldn't want anybody to go through it. Well, it's the feeling of isolation um, because when it's happening to a certain person and they come to you and they tell you that you're, they're being bullied, they feel that they are the only one that's ever happened to. Although you're unique as a person, you're not the only one that it's happening to. So do tell someone and it's never your fault if you're being bullied. Yeah, so don't feel bad about yourself. For me, my job is to educate young people to understand what cyberbullying is, how it affects people, and that their actions have consequences, and unfortunately those consequences aren't always nice. Uh, if students are victims of cyberbullying, the uh, first thing you should do is, is, is try and speak to somebody, first of all, uh, whoever that might, might be. Might be. Uh, a friend, parents, somebody that they trust, but the worst thing to do is to not talk about it. Nobody should be feeling upset or worried, and it's, it's not a form of um, grasping on people as students believe it to be. It's not, it's looking after themselves. To get them to speak up and to make them realise they're not on their own, and they have got the backing of the teacher, they've got the backing of the parents and the friends. Don't be afraid, always come forward and tell people because if you don't speak out, speak out, then there's nothing that we can do to support you and help you. Don't suffer in silence. Tell someone, tell someone who's responsible. Talk about it, speak to somebody, don't bother up.